It's the freaking weekend. It is Friday at 6.16. We just got off work. I dressed really, really casual, but we're actually going on a double date with our friends to a place called Putt Shack where it's like glow putt-putt, but the courses are really, really cool. I'm so excited because we went a couple weeks ago with our other friends, but we went with a huge group of people, which we ended up having a lot, a lot of fun, but going in that big of a group in the way that the layout was of the place, it was just really hard to maneuver and we weren't able to socialize like at all in that big of a group so we are on our way to just go with two of our friends they're married they're awesome but it's gonna be a really really fun weekend I'm pretty sure we have something to do every day if you're new here my name is Brooke I'm 28 years old I live with Pfeiffer syndrome which is a genetic disorder and I honestly have just been filming my life I'm married just bought a house a couple years ago just got a new job I've just been having a lot of fun filming my life and oversharing. I've been having a lot of fun oversharing. Yeah, thank you. Ow, I just scratched myself so bad. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm so excited to have you here. It's gonna be a dang good weekend. <laughs> Did I interrupt something? No, I was just filming. Wanna say hello? Hello. Hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. We are incredibly early for where we need to be. So Joe was like, do you want to go to a bookstore? So we're going to Half Price Books, so I'm very excited. Not looking. Half We're not looking for anything in particular, but we never are. <laughs> are get married and have beagles? Beagles yeah. and bassets? I was gonna say you owe me a coke, but we're not drinking soda. We're not drinking soda for the month of August. Alcohol does not count. Alcohol is what we need in place of soda. And Lonnie doesn't count so if you need like a crispy coke i'm trying to decide if poppy counts yes it does i'm gonna say yes it's a probiotic soda it's a soda we'll okay. see now y'all are gonna come for me comments but um that one is marketed as a soda where alani is marketed as an energy drink so hush your mouth yeah it's gonna taste like a soda though which is exactly good. well that's yeah. what i'm saying that's why it needs hole. to be well, no, that's why it needs to be banned because it is going to taste like a soda. You know, Alani's not going to taste like a soda. Ooh, ooh, uh, Corolla. That was the one I couldn't grab. Ah, we are talking about getting a new car in the later future. In the near, not so near. In the near, not so right now. In the, in the next year, we'll say. Let's, um, that sounds good to say. In the next year, we're thinking about getting an SUV. So we've been just, just chatting. Chatting, what are our runner ups? Toyota and Kia, uh, Honda, not Kia. Toyota Kia's. and Honda are the ones that I lean most towards. But yeah, we're heading to a bookstore to kill a little bit of time and then, and then we're going on date night. Double date night. Double date night. Just got here. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna get the crispy like chicken salad and have some of Joe's fries. We're gonna eat and then play putt putt and I ordered a drink. It's the weekend! Can you tell that I'm wearing a pimple patch on my nose? When you stand far away, you definitely can't tell. And I bet you if I didn't draw attention to it, you would have no idea. But it is Saturday. Joe and I are gonna run a couple of very minuscule errands, very small errands. And I really wanna go get lunch somewhere. I have no clue where, but I'm craving something good. I can't decide if I should throw my hair up. I think I should. I'll probably do that. I got this set from Target, thrifted this flannel. But we had such a good date night last night with our friends. We, I won the first round, which is unheard of. And our friend Josh won the second round. Um, highly recommend going to play putt-putt. Didn't think that was something I was gonna enjoy, but lo and behold, it is. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put my hair up because it is August. I'm already wearing a black set with long pants and a flannel that's probably gonna end up around my waist as soon as I step outside because it looks like a beautiful day. I just can't wait for fall. Fall is when I thrive. Fall is like my favorite time for fashion. I like being covered and cozy. 
fall, I'm ready for you. But no real crazy plans. I did have full, full intentions this morning of going at 8 a.m. to the library book sale in my area. I try to go every time they have it, but I think I've only been once this year. I went to a few last year, and I think I've only been to one this year, but I just chose sleep. Normally, I wake up at like 5 a.m. on the weekends, no matter what, no alarm, naturally wake up at 5 a.m. by choice. And lately, I have been sleeping in till 6.30, 7, 7.30, and this morning, I woke up at 7.15 and had no desire to like rush have my coffee, rush put clothes on to get to the library by 8 a.m. because you have to be there on time. There are older women standing in line waiting for this event. They will push you. You gotta get there early, if not on time for sure. Because they know the good books. They know the ones that they're looking for and books are like a dollar. 50 cents and they have records cookbooks journals i love everything about it but yeah this morning i chose sleep and i'm going book shopping tomorrow honestly if i didn't buy two books yesterday and if i wasn't going book shopping tomorrow with my friend i probably would have i probably would have suffered and went this morning anyway but that's okay i hope to go to the next one i think it's in september let's leave the house let's leave the house for the day i try to leave the house at least once a day on the weekends unless the weather is just really really bad but no plans I'm gonna leave the house probably go to lunch pick up a few things and come home so first things first i'm actually dropping my car off at my father-in-law's and then we're going Ugh, i've had this car since 2017 hold on we're good i've had this car since 2017 and i've had like my fair amount of problems with it and right now it is having a little bit a lot of bit actually of an overheating problem i was driving home it's been a problem for a few months um, but i was driving home and yesterday it just completely overheated and I had to pull over but yeah uh, we just paid quite a bit of money to get this problem fixed but it is still not fixed I think it was just misdiagnosed so I'm taking it to my father-in-law's because he knows people who know people and hopefully we'll have somebody look at it I need to figure out how I'm getting to my plans tomorrow if I'm not able to drive myself but that is definitely a not right now problem. I want to get an Alani because I want to be a little bit productive at home today. I want to spend a lot of time at home because every time I spend time outside of my house, I spend a crap ton of money. And I also want to work out later and get some movement in. Welcome to the least aesthetic part of my house, which is my living room. Full transparency, I do not like my living room. I love my dining room. I'm working on having a very cute bedroom. We have a good guest room. Our kitchen is nice. We have a nice like coffee nook, but I do not currently have the living room the way that I want it, which is a really a bummer because I love my home, I love my house, and I love my stuff. I just don't love how I have our living room right now. And so I just don't like spending that much time in here. But I like this comfy, ugly chair. So I'm gonna sit in here for a little bit, see if I can get some energy I just had a meeting with my social media manager I do have a manager her name is Sasha she's been my manager for about two years no we've been working together for about two years the first year together she was not my manager she just mostly like consulted and helped me out if I had questions and I would involve her and if I involved her like I would pay her a small percentage of any any money that I was fortunate enough to make, which was not a lot, but every penny counts. She then became my official manager at the beginning of this year because, I don't know, we just get along really well and we wanted to take my social media to the next level. And she knows exactly what I want, which is to basically do exactly what I'm doing, but work possibly with brands that I'm very passionate about, including the Easter Seals. Like I worked with this brand that spreads awareness on disability and was helping to sell sweatshirts. So things like that, um, just things that I'm passionate about are, we, we have the same, understanding i really like her 
Anyway, I just had a meeting with her because she's having a baby. She's having a baby girl soon, so she's gonna be on maternity leave and just wanted to kind of guide me on really what the rest of the year is gonna look like for me and for us. And so I had that. Joe's taking a nap. I need to get some energy. Maybe I'll finish the book that I'm reading while I'm sitting here and let me go grab that actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my energy just completely plummeted, but I started the Stillwater Girls yesterday, I think, and I should finish it. I think I'm on chapter 39. Um, so I think I'm going to sit here and finish this, drink some Alani, get some energy going, and hopefully be somewhat productive. I don't think I'm going to be leaving the house again today but i am tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a really fun day so i will let you know as soon as i finish this on what i think got a package while well, i was sitting here and i already know it's earrings from my favorite earring boutique simply play i will tag her below as well as my coupon code i bet you this is her fall collection oh my god these are amazing. Oh my god, those are so cute. I love those. Felicia is amazing. She's so talented. Those are perfect. Ooh. these two shirts for five dollars um first we have this green one and then we have the matching one in black and they're really thick they're a little longer than the crop tops that i have which i've been wanting and i love this green color like that's legitimately how it looks is this green so five dollars for Walmart. i feel like you cannot beat that but i did the shit so that's good we're, we're starting that productivity train Let's see if we can keep it going i had joe put my hair up and then i threw on a lip gloss and suddenly i feel much more put together but i wanted to show you this like home project that we're working on we first originally with the house we had these which we do also plan on repainting the white on the cabinets um, but this is what came with the house this is what we we're thinking about switching out now and this is what we were gonna do but now we're thinking this and we'll see how we'll see how it ends up looking but i think i'm leaning more towards the new one versus versus this one yeah that looks like way better feels better looks better what do you think 
So far, I agree, but we thought that the uh, the old new gold ones were winners until we put them on this drawer, so. The test is really just going to be functionality of this drawer whenever it gets changed out, and then we'll really know where we stand, because I don't think it's going to have a problem with the vertical ones. I think it's looking to look really good vertical. Yeah. No, I think it's going to look a lot better, a lot better than the silver, and yeah, exciting. What? I'm having a blue one. It's delicious. Oh, good. I went thrifting with my friend, so I figured I would show what I got. I would do a try on haul, but it's Sunday night and I don't feel like it. But I got this cute, frilly dress. I loved the like color scheme, the pattern. Love that. I didn't get a whole lot. But I saw this and I immediately pictured it with leggings and like Ugg boots. Um, but it's just like a collared zip up blue sweater material. I got this dress which I would love to wear to work this week. This is like what the top of it looks like. It's very 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 soft and it's like a long long dress. But it's very small looking, but it's very stretchy. So I'm excited about that. My friend was like, you cannot leave without these. I have no idea where or how I'm going to wear them. What brand even are they? They look like they're definitely from Target, but I think they're so beautiful and I'm determined to figure out how to wear them. I don't even know if they fit, but they're my size and they're gonna live in my closet. Call me Carrie Bradshaw. We wanted to go bargain book shopping, but the place that we really wanted to go to was closed. So my friend and I got Mexican, went thrifting. We did go look at books. We went to the mall and looked at that bookstore, but we ended up not getting any. So we'll have to go on a day that the bargain bookstore is open because we were planning on making like a whole day out of it. So I really didn't get that many books this weekend, which is so shocking because I thought it was going to be like a book filled weekend. I'm obsessed with our new bedding, Ignore the clothes i gotta do some folding of the laundry but honestly getting all new bedding has been a huge game game changer and i love it so much well, i'm gonna end off today's video this video is getting really really long thank you so much for watching this vlog days of my life i love you so much